everyone, I'm Bianca Renee. You're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to keep it really real with all of you guys that have Snapchat. Now, my shirt that I'm wearing says, ain't nobody got time for that. Because there are so many things on Snapchat that you guys do that ain't nobody got time for. Now, I was going to try to rank these from least annoying to most annoying, but they were all equally so annoying that I could not rank them for you. Okay, let's get down to one of my first annoyances, and that is pretty much with girls that post 10 second selfies on Snapchat. Now the problem isn't the selfie, I post selfies all the time, but it's just knowing that you picked up your phone and you're okay, what is the maximum time I can make someone look at me? Oh, 10 seconds. They're gonna wanna look at this for 10 seconds. Do you know how long 10 seconds actually is? Let me demonstrate. That's a really long time. Moving along, the only thing more annoying than a 10 second selfie is a selfie video. Why do we have these? I cannot stand if a girl is just literally just for 10 seconds just Like what? What what am I what am I doing? Why am I watching you choose a selfie pose? Okay, the next annoyance is relatable to both guys and girls, and that is the workout selfies. Now, if you work out every day, power to you, there's nothing wrong with that. If you wanna take a picture in your cute workout outfit or let us know you're at the gym, that's also fine. But it's when you take a video of you working out every single day, then we have a problem. Because if I'm watching your snap, you're literally just doing this. Can we, can we stop? Can we, can we not record on the treadmill? Can we just get our workout in and go home? Please. I'm going to get in so much trouble for making this video. Now, another thing that I personally just really do not like when people do on Snapchat is when they record their TV or the movie they're watching. Like, I'm not gonna watch this small, blurry version of Rush Hour 2 on my Snapchat. Now just as I don't like to watch TVs and movies with you in your story, I also don't need to see the entire concert that you're at. Now I have been guilty of this before. I went to some concerts, thought it'd be cool to show you guys what Drake's doing right now, but then when you watch it later, it's just a bunch of loud noise, and if you're not front row, it's just this like blurry light of stage. So let's just say, hey, at the Drake concert, let it go. This next one I know we all can relate to, and that is the Snapchat singing driver. Meaning, this person will sing every single song that comes on the radio and put it in their story. Now, if you have a favorite song and you're like grooving to it or have like a dance routine or just like make it really entertaining, that's fine. But if you're going to sing every song for the next 30 minutes and put them all in your story, I'm not going to watch it. I don't think anyone ever does. Does anyone ever? I don't, I don't think so. Well, this is something that probably should be in like the rules of Snapchat before you even are allowed to make an account, and that is do not send snaps to people if that snap has nothing to do with that person. So if it's like you and your friend Susie, and I don't even know your friend Susie, why are you sending me a selfie with your friend Susie? Like, why? If it doesn't relate to me, then just put in your story. And then if I choose to see it, then that means it's my fault and now I have to look at you and Susie. But otherwise, I don't need to see it. Now the next one, the only thing that's worse than that is when you send me a snap and you put that same snap in your story. Why? I've literally been sent your entire story and now later I have to watch the whole thing over again. Don't do that. This one, okay, this one really needs to stop, and that is the hookah snaps. If you are doing hookah, why do you have to send me a video of just, just in the camera? It's just smoke. It's just, oh, look, it's me, and then, oh, look, I'm gone because I'm covered in smoke, and you send it to me directly every time you go to hookah. If you are making like O's or spelling out your name, that's impressive. But if you're just gonna just literally exhale your smoke in my camera, like why? And last, but
but not least, one of the most annoying things that I know everyone hates on Snapchat is the 200 second story. Now, if I would say that that's a problem on its own, I would be a hypocrite because I do have some very long stories sometimes, but that is only because they are extremely entertaining. If you have a 200 second, 300 second story, whether it's good or not, it's fine. We're all allowed like a couple a month. But if you have a two to 300 second story every single day, that is insane. No one, no one's life is that interesting where you need 300 seconds to share every day. Unless you're Beyonce. Because to be honest, your life's probably not that interesting. Does that mean? I don't know. So as long as your 300 second story does not include you working out, you watching TV, you watching movies, you going to a concert, you singing every single song that comes on the radio, taking selfies with Susie, taking 10 second selfies or taking selfie videos, it's probably gonna be a good story. Now the point of the video was not to make you feel bad or self-conscious about your story. And I'm not saying that my stories are perfect, but they are. Whew, I am losing Snapchat friends tonight. <laughs> So if you agree with all these things being very annoying, leave me a comment so I know that I am not alone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. And remember if you're going to Snapchat, do it properly. Want more funny videos? Check out my curly hair problems or curly haircut experience or click the links in the description box and please subscribe for more videos every Thursday. Let's be friends. Follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest.